Hi, I'm Skyler with Hammer in Hand out at the Karuna House. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about our window system and the shading system that we're utilizing here. Uh, we've uh, spent some time describing the uh, heat recovery ventilation system and the low temperature hydronic floor for the heating of the house. Uh, and we've also talked about the, the plumbing domestic hot water system. Now we're going to talk about what I think is a real critical part of the mechanical system of a passive house um, is, is actually the windows and the shades. Um, a lot of people don't really see how windows are part of the mechanical system, but in a low load home, uh, we're actually able to utilize to, uh, to quite a big benefit the solar gains that we can get from the windows. On, on this house, uh, we're using very high solar heat gain windows uh, with low iron glass, which is even, um, it's above 50% solar heat gain coefficient. Uh, we're actually in the 60% range, and so that means 60% of the solar energy uh, is able to pass through the window. Uh, and so that, that's great from a solar gain perspective in the winter time, uh, but we still want to be able to have control over that gain. And uh, one thing that you see when you go to Europe is a super common feature just on pretty much any building. Um, I was just recently on a trip to Germany and Italy, and it was really the exception of the house that didn't have mechanical exterior shades or some other sort of um, exterior shading strategy. Um, on this house, we have a uh, mechanical shade that can be controlled with a wall controller and also can be controlled on like a tablet or your phone. Um, basically it allows us to uh, manage the solar energy because in a low energy house, um, even in the shoulder seasons where it's 40, 50 degrees, uh, you can get a lot of solar gain on a clear day that can overheat the home. And then of course in the summertime, we want to be able to have the shades and we can control the sun. Um, this is a modern building that doesn't have an awesome overhang strategy um, in all parts of the house. And so these shades allow us to have almost 100% solar control um, without having the overhangs. And um, even with overhangs, there's limitations, like I said, in the shoulder season, uh, when you, the, the sun is lower than the overhangs and it's getting directly blasted into the space. Uh, you can overshoot, um, even with a very advanced HVAC system, you can overshoot the heat. And so it really comes down to solar control. So I can't emphasize enough how important it is if you have a passive house project, especially with west facing glass, um, but really the more exterior shades that you can afford in the budget, the better. Um, and I really recommend it, especially on these big glass units. Um, another thing I want to point out is the glass itself. Uh, this glass is imported from Austria. It's top of the line, high performance. Uh, we have insulated frames, uh, but the glass itself, in addition to being super high solar heat gain, it's unbelievably warm. So in the, in the summertime, uh, it's a very moderate temperature, but in the wintertime is really where the performance shines. And uh, we have a center glass performance on this window that's about an R11, and it really performs better than uh, most walls on an annual perspective, especially our south-facing windows because it's providing solar gain. And then it's also very insulative, so at night we don't have a huge hemorrhage loss. Of course, it's nowhere near as good as our R60 window, but even on our R60 wall, but even on the coldest day of the year, we can stand up next to this window and has very warm surface temps. Um, and on a traditional window with big glass like this, you would get convection currents that uh, basically you'd get warm air that's at the top of the window and it would cool as it go down the face and it would feel like a draft inside of the house. And oftentimes people think that they have a drafty window when in reality, it's just this cold convection air coming down the window and causing a draft feeling in the house. So the window's not necessarily leaking air, um, but it's just cooled air. And with this window, it has very, very high interior surface temperatures. And so this whole portion of the living room will be livable all year round. And we, um, I've been into homes where people couldn't even use the outer portion of their house because it was so cold and uncomfortable. In a passive house with these high performance windows, that's not gonna be the problem. And then with the solar shades, you don't need to worry about overheating. And so it's really the best of both worlds, comfortable in the wintertime and in the summertime.